In this section, the discussion is focused on how to determine hydrostatic forces exerted on a plane surface submerged in a static fluid. Determining this hydrostatic force is particularly crucial in the design of engineering structures such as dams, storage tanks, and hydraulic systems. Consider an inclined plane submerged in a static fluid as shown in the figure. First, let's assume that the center of the pressure is located here. And the area of centroid is located here. The resultant force denoted as FR is acting perpendicular to the plane since no shear force is present when the fluid is at rest. Resultant force has a line of action that passes through the point XCP, YCP, which is called the center of pressure. This is the distance XCP and distance YCP. And this is the distance XC and distance YC. Now, take a small differential element TA and the depth of H. This is H bar, which is from the center of the centroid. And this is HO, which is the depth from the center of pressure. These are the formulas in determining the pressure, depth of the center of pressure, and the distance from the area of centroid to the center of pressure. The first formula is used to find pressure. Pressure is equal to gamma fluid multiplied by H bar and multiplied by A. Where P is pressure, gamma fluid is unit weight of fluid, H bar is depth of centroid, and A is area of given tank. The second formula is used to find the depth of center pressure. Depth of center pressure is equal to H bar plus Ig over area multiplied by H bar where HO is depth of center pressure and IG is second moment of area. The third formula is used to find distance from the area of the centroid to the center of pressure, where distance from the area of centroid to the center of pressure is equal to IG over area multiplied by H bar. So let's have an example. A slew ice gate 4 meters wide and 3 meters high is hinged at the bottom as shown. On the upstream side, there is seawater extending to a height of 2.5 meters above the top of the gate and on the downward side is fresh water on level with the top of the gate. Determine the smallest force acting at the top of the gate which will open the gate. Neglect the weight of the gate. The specific gravity of seawater is 1.025. From the given, we all know that the unit weight of water is 9.81 kN per cubic meter. Using the formula of pressure is equal to gamma fluid multiplied by H bar multiplied by the area, we can obtain pressures of the seawater and the freshwater. So first, let's find the value of 
the pressure of fresh water. So just substitute the value of the gamma fluid or the unit weight of water which is 9.81 multiply by the H bar which is 1.5 meters and multiply by the area which is 3 times 4. So we now have the value of the pressure of fresh water which is 176.58 kilonewton. Second, let's find the pressure of the seawater. So just substitute the value of the gamma fluid which is 9.81 and multiply it by the a specific gravity which is 1.025 multiplied by the h bar 4 meters and multiplied by the area 4 times 3 so we now have the value of the pressure of seawater which is 482.652 kilonewton After getting both pressures, we are going to find E, which is the distance from the center of pressure to the center of gravity. E is equal to the second moment of area over area multiplied by h bar. Since we all know that the second moment of area of rectangle is 1 over 12 multiplied by base times cubic depth. So, E is equal to 1 over 12 multiplied by 4 and 3 cubed over area, which is 4 times 3 times 4, which is the H bar. So, we now have the value of E, which is 0 0.19 meters. So, to determine the smallest force acting at the top of the gate, which will open the gate, we must perform the moment at point O. Summation of moment along point O is equal to zero. So P1 multiplied by its perpendicular distance along point O plus F or the force acting at the top of the gate multiplied by its perpendicular distance to point O is equal to P2 multiplied by the quantity of H bar minus E. So, substitute the value of P1, which is 176.58 kilonewton, multiply by 1 plus F, multiply by 3, is equal to the value of P2, which is 482.652 kilonewton, multiplied by the quantity of 1.5 minus 0 0.19 so therefore the smallest force acting at the top of the gate is 151.89 kilonewton